Hey everybody, it's Max McAllister from Traction Dynamics. Today I'm going to show you some new stuff that I'm, some products I'm going to be, some new products we have and things that I'm going to be reviewing. <coughs> uh, not our products. Actually, we'll tell you about one new product I've got coming. This was uh, an idea concept that Cruise Man uh, contacted me about. Uh, as you guys, if you haven't seen his channel, you might want to check it out. Um, he's got a lot of great tips, uh, on all about gold wings and, uh, uh, maintenance, all kinds of things. So, uh, and then lots of product reviews and such on his channel, check him out and, uh, uh, motor vlogging. So it's one of his specialties and he has really nicely produced videos, not like mine, uh, with the, uh, cell phone and hit the upload button, <laughs> but, uh, he wanted a better way to put his cameras camera on his bike than a typical handlebar mounted uh, Ram ball or or some other you know a, a Ram mount or some Xbox or some you know cradle or something up here um, for multiple reasons uh, you know these get some vibration from the you know some shock from the road that kind of shows up in them and then also. The problem of, you know, every time he turns, the camera is moving in relation to what it's looking at. So um, he sent me down the path of thinking up a new product. And so what I've come up with is I'm going to have a really nice, rigid uh, uh, CNC machine billet aluminum bracket that stands up right here in this V between the mirror and the windscreen. And on top of that, you'll be able to mount either a one inch ram ball or a GoPro styled, you know, double fork mount thing. And what that's going to do for you is uh, it's going to give you a viewpoint that happens to be looking right back at the rider if you want to put a camera that way. But you can put a camera forward and not see so much mess uh, on the bike. If you're trying to look through. The windshield, which does not, you know, give a great picture for your camera and such. So you can put your camera right out here. But the other thing, if you use the Ram ball, what it'll do for you is you can use extensions. So with a Ram ball, you can very securely put your camera up high to look right back at your helmet. Uh, you could take it and put it out in front of the bike. You might even look at your wheel moving. Who knows what point of view you want to come up with. You can also take the, an extended Ram ball mount, run it backwards you know, look at your feet working controls or, you know, the a side view of your bike or, you know, uh, send it looking down closer to the road. But that ball will give you all kinds of shots that you would from one location that you uh, with an extension, uh, RAM extension that you wouldn't be able to get by just having something up here. And again, that would get very floppy and um, wiggly. So um, I've only made a dozen of those. Uh, so if you're interested, you might email me on that right away. It's the kit's going to come just so you don't have to find them. It's going to come with a one inch ram ball and a GoPro styled mount that thread into the top of it. So you'll have both of them. You don't have to go find them. And then, uh, so that's a new product we're going to have. And then hot into the United States um, are the ATL bike folding mirror kits. And I'm going to do... An installation video um, on this and this is a, a more extensive installation uh, it's not terrible it requires taking off the side panel here um, installing a wiring harness which isn't very difficult and then changing out the frames inside of your mirrors your regular frames for these super nice super high quality motorized mirror mounts so these are first class and i'm really impressed with them can't wait to get one installed and and play with it it works super simply you just double tap your turn signal cancellation button and your mirrors come in you tap double tap again they go back out and a lot of questions have been asked and i never remember to answer this does it still have the normal functioning you know, if somebody just walked by and whacked your mirror, will it still collapse mechanically? And yes, they are designed to do that. So just like with the mirror on your car, if somebody bangs the mirror on your car, 
you just cycle your mirror in and cycle your mirror out and they'll catch they'll catch and go back into their correct position so they've got this all worked out but I'll do an installation video on it um, these are going to be 699.95 so 700 bucks and it's a complete kit with everything including um, a nice pair of shortened levers so if you had your handlebars in the stock location and you don't have any kind of pullback like Healy bar risers or like the horizon kit from Healy, then uh, if you had your mirrors back and you were driving in traffic, like if you're lane splitting or lane filtering, if your state, sal state allows lane filtering and you went very close to lock, the front brake lever could touch the mirror and lock the front wheel. So they have short, shorter brake levers. So they're instead of, Four fingers, they're three fingers, brake levers. So um, that's included in the kit. Uh, but I'll show you how all that works. If you're just a go-getter and you don't want to wait for me, um, the guys at ATL Bike have an installation video already done. It's uh, in Chinese, but it's dubbed in English, and it's perfectly adequate to follow. So if you're a real go-getter and you don't want to miss out on I've only got 12 of these kits. Uh, contact me, max at traction.com. And um, if you haven't figured out how to spell traction yet by looking at my shirt, my banners, my title, my channel, then I just can't help you and you're not smart enough to buy these. So, anyway, max at traction.com. And, uh, and I'll get you a set. Uh, now, these guys, what I'm doing on my end, this is, I'm really happy working with these guys. They've been super on point with communication, everything right from the beginning. So in the United States, I'm going to be the contact point for warranty support. So if you don't buy them from me somewhere and you buy them from somewhere else and you're in the United States, I won't, I'm not going to be able to help you if you had any trouble, but if you do have trouble, I will help you directly if you buy them from me. So the owners of ATL bike have set me up here with a couple of spare kits so that in case there's warranty trouble, I can respond quickly. So uh, if you're worried about using a new product that's, you know, that you haven't seen tested and there's no reports on, just know that I personally am standing behind it and the guys from ATL bike have helped me make it easy for, to stand behind it for you. So that, that's, that's pretty cool. And I'm looking forward to that. Um, if you don't understand this, it's okay. You don't have to, uh, people are like, who's so lazy. They can't reach out and pull their mirrors. Well, probably the same fat guy who's fat bastard who's got an automatic transmission who's so lazy he can't wiggle his toe on a six speed anymore. So if you're the dumbass who says, why would somebody buy that? You know, who's so lazy? You know, you have a, you put your finger on a horn button, don't you? Why don't you just have a big horn, uh, clown horn that you take your hand off the bar and go bonk, bonk, bonk. Why do you need a button you move your, th you know, where's the line? I, I don't care what pe whether people like it or not. So Anyway, there's going to be people that love this thing, love these things. And uh, so if you don't understand it, too, too bad. Uh, another kit I'm going to be installing and reviewing um, is a company called Inov, I-N-N-O-V-V. And they have been known for high quality camera kits uh, for motorcycles and bicycles, if you happen to be a cyclist. And they have several... Um, tiers of cameras, which I'll get into and uh, probably even try and get a camera system for our Goldwing to install and review. But I'm, I'm likely to start becoming a stocking dealer for them because people come to us all. And when they do, they say, hey, which camera system would you buy? And, you know, there's a thousand of them to choose from knockoffs and, and really cheap crap. These are these guys make really robust products. They're super high quality. They have technical support, warranty support. Uh, their reputation is extremely high. Uh, they're rated very highly. So I've looked into this company. They're good. They're something that I'm willing to stand behind. So, but one of the products that I caught my eye that I'm really interested in, um, I had done a motorcycle safety, looked at carrying a motorcycle safety system earlier a year ago. And just in my opinion, wasn't simple enough and easy enough to use for regular riders, at least in its, what, in its present condition. This system is, and it's called Third Eye, and it's blind spot uh, detection and lane change, lane assist to change and rear collision. Some, I, I don't have all the, they have it done by letters and I don't have them all worked out. Basically, um, you have uh, 
two indicator lights, which you can kind of select where you want to put. You can put them out on your mirrors like you might have on a modern passenger car or truck, or you could put them on either side of the dash if you want them in a little closer. But what will happen is as the car comes up behind you and goes to pass you, uh, as it enters the field where you can't see it anymore, um, it, it's it's not in your rear view mirror, um, and it's also, but it's in that blind spot. So the blind spot is, um, this thing will have lit up to tell you there is a vehicle in your blind spot, you know, and that you should, you know, if you physically turn around and look if you can, or if, the, if it, you know, situation's safe to do that. So the other thing it will do is, uh, it's a lane change assistance. So any car that's back in the area behind it, it will also alert you that there's a car, you know, that you should avoid if it's coming quickly. So you don't move out into the lane to change lanes while a car a vehicle's moving quickly. One comes straight up behind you at a high rate of speed. Both lights will come on and flash. So the I've watched it in action. It works just flawlessly. You can see People that are motoblogging, um, you can look right in their rear view mirror with them. And as soon as that car goes out of sight in the rear view mirror, but isn't visible to their peripheral vision, that light has already come on. It's telling you it's there and it works really cool. So it's going to be another one of those things. Somebody goes, well, what do you need that? Just turn your head. Okay. You don't need it. I, I don't care if you don't need it. There are people who will love to have this device. Uh, pretty much any. Um, you know, high quality modern um, uh, car or truck will have this exact system already, you know, similar system built into the mirrors of the, of the vehicle. Um, and this does have an audible alert uh, that is you can turn on or turn off. Uh, from what I've seen with it tested, you know, you, it can, it's, uh, it could be a nuisance in close quarter situations. Uh, um, where you're getting in and out of your driveway and in a parking lot or lots of traffic, um, unnecessary kind of noise that you might tune out. Um, and then the other thing is when you're on the highway at going 70 miles an hour, it's not loud enough to hear at that speed. So this is really a visual alert, um, although it does have audio. Uh, but we'll, I'll get into all the details once I install one and get it, and get it set up. And then another product that will be coming um, – Sometime around June, um, we'll have some to set up and I'm, I, I have to, I can't show it and I can't talk about it till it's really, or I can't uh, show it and do a review until the, the shipment comes in. But um, Gold Strike is going to have another new safety product, a safety product coming that is a larger surface area, convex shaped rear view mirrors that have turn signals, sequential turn signals built into the glass. So that looks like it's going to be a really tremendous product. And um, they're going to get me a set here for me to install and um, demonstrate and review and demonstrate. So, uh, but I got to, I got to wait for the, the green light to get, show you the yellow lights. <laughs> so um, these are the new things that I've got coming. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Uh, I think that's it for right now. So new stuff, new videos coming, new products. Like I said, if you're interested in that camera mount or a set of these mirrors, you might want to uh, email me maxattraction.com because I only have 12 of each. So I think they'll go quickly. Please give this video a thumbs up as usual. I hope you've subscribed to my channel. Thanks a lot to the, my members who support the channel. Thanks to people who give me the super thanks tips when um, I help them solve problems on their bikes. Uh, I'll be back with more content soon.